In the ancient Semitic languages, which are primarily Hebrew and Greek, but it also includes the Sanskrit, there was a system of substitution, a substitution cipher, whereby you could substitute a letter for a number. Because prior to the advent of the Hindu Arabic numeral system, the Semitic languages used the same set of symbols both for the letters of the alphabet and for numbers. So in Hebrew, you could count through and it was a denary system. So Aleph was one, Beta was two, but it was the same in both cases. You had units, tens, and hundreds. So the tenth letter of the Hebrew alphabet is Yud, which had the, the value of, of ten. The next letter was Kof, which had the value of 20. Lamed had the value of 30. Uh, Mem, 40. Nun, 50. Samek, 60. Ayan, 70, etc. The Greek system worked the same way. Now, your skeptic and your rationalist, rationalist, your reductionist is going to be, oh, you're just playing with numbers. And I've heard that before. Yeah, I am playing with numbers. Maybe God himself played with numbers. Herself. Himself. <laughs> because I think God transcends those kinds of distinctions.